can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given that x and y are both real numbers, that satisfies this equation x squared plus 1 multiplied by y squared plus 1 plus 25 equals 10 times the quantity x plus y. Then the goal in this question is to evaluate x cubed plus y cubed. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, by the way, here's some hints to answer this question. So the first one, the first hint is the expansion of x plus y raised to the power of 2. So we know x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. This is very basic. And the second hint is the form of the expression that we want to find x cubed plus y cubed. This is just x plus y raised to the power of 3 minus 3 times xy multiplied by x plus y. So now, we will use those hints to answer this question. So let's begin. Alright, so first step. So why not multiply these two expressions right over here. And when we multiply this, we have x squared y squared plus x squared plus y squared plus 1. Then the rest is bring down. And then, using the first hint, we can solve for the value of x squared plus y squared. So subtract 2 x y on both sides, we have x squared plus y squared is equivalent to x plus y squared minus 2 times x y. So we can replace this with its equivalent. So replacing these two terms and the rest is bring down. Alright, now why is that? So why we do that? Because x cubed plus y cubed, the equivalent of this is x plus y cubed. We need the sum of x and y and the product of x and y. So if we found the sum of x and y and the product of x and y, then we're done. So what we're going to do in this equation is to combine the terms having the product of x and y and the sum of x and y like this. And we will focus on this result. And again, we will use the first hint because if we have in this pattern x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, this is what we call the perfect square trinomial. And if that's happened, we can factor this out nicely as x plus y raised to the power of 2. Now, on our given equation, take note, x squared y squared, we can rewrite this as xy raised to the power of 2. This one, 1 squared. The rest is bring down, 25 is 5 squared. Now, let's focus on the first three terms. This is in this pattern, x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So, we can factor this out nicely as xy minus 1 raised to the power of 2. And also, the last three terms, we can factor this out nicely using perfect square tri uh, trinomial as x plus y is x plus y minus 5 raised to the power of 2. And our equation now becomes xy minus 1 quantity squared plus x plus y minus 5 quantity squared equals 0. Now let's focus on this result. And now, let's goodbye to the first hint. And since x and y are both real numbers, and this equation is equivalent to 0, the only possible thing is x, y minus 1 equals 0, or x plus y minus 5 is also equal to 0. Now, solving for the product of x and y, we have x, y equals 1, and the sum of x and y is 5. So, using this result, we can now evaluate x cubed plus y cubed. So, using this identity. So, using this, we know we have the sum, 5, and the product is 1. So, let's focus on this. Now, the sum is 5, the product is 1, so this is x cubed plus y cubed equivalent to 5 cube minus 3 times 1 times 5. 3 times 1 times 5 is 15. 5 cubed is 125. 125 minus 15 is 110. And that is our answer to this question. Therefore, given that x and y are both real numbers, that satisfies this equation x squared plus 1 multiplied by y squared plus 1 plus 25 equals 10 times the quantity x plus y, then the numerical value of x cubed plus y cubed is equivalent to 110.
and as always we are done